How to create a sound effects library with DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. Built into DaVinci Resolve is a powerful tool designed for video editors and sound designers called the Fairlight Sound Library. Catalog SFX across multiple projects and even networks using Resolve's unique project database format. To get started with the Fairlight Sound Library, launch an empty project in DaVinci Resolve, either the free or paid version of the software on Mac, Windows, or Linux will work. Enter the Fairlight page. To recap, Fairlight is a digital audio workstation with similar functionality to Avid Pro Tools and Adobe Audition. The main advantage to using Fairlight is that you can open up your sound mixing alongside your video editing with no need to switch apps during a project. Open the sound library panel found in the upper left of the screen. This is the sound library panel, and this is where we catalog and organize sound effects. We'll start with the expand panel on the first row. My project shows Fairlight sound library and local database. For now, we want local database and I'll circle back at the end of the video and explain what the other option is. Once in local database, we'll see no library connected. Click add library. A library is a folder of sound effects on your computer or network. And I have a folder of ambient sounds from my own personal library that I'm going to navigate to. Any wave, AIFF, or MP3 sound files that you might have can be added to your own database for any type of catalog. Once the sounds have been added, the browse panel is still blank. Search the term that matches your sound effects. In my case, AMB for ambience, and just the ambience tracks will appear. Within this panel, there is a playhead and logging commands work here as well. For example, in this crowd piece, I don't want this overly long fade up in the clip. I can mark an in point by pressing I on the keyboard and mark an out point by pressing O if you want to mark an out point. And now I get a range of just what I want from the clip. Drag and drop to edit from the sound effects library into the timeline. And this results in a master clip that has also been added to the media pool. To see all the sound effects that are now inside the database, search for star, star, star. All the results will appear. These sound effects have been added to the database, which by default is called local database. This is how DaVinci Resolve manages projects. I can exit this project and enter another project in the same database, and all the sound effects are still available in the sound library. This is important to note. Adding sound effects to the sound library is tied to the database and not the project. This can be useful if you're using the same sound effects across multiple episodes of a television show, or you're building a stock music library that can be used on all kinds of projects. If you're an advanced user and are already utilizing multiple databases, don't worry. The Fairlight sound library can be accessed within different databases. Click the database selector within the panel to freely access where the sounds are located on your system or network. I mentioned earlier that my computer has an additional panel called the Fairlight Sound Library. This is an optional installation from Blackmagic Design that can be found for free on the support page. The Fairlight Sound Library adds hundreds of free sound effects to the Fairlight page, including samples that can be loaded into the Foley editor. In this example, I have a woman walking on a beach and no sound was recorded. We can use the sound library paired with the Foley editor and a MIDI controller to edit footsteps to this footage. In the sound library panel, I'm going to select Fairlight Sound Library, and I'm going to do a search for the keyword sand. This clip of footsteps ought to work. To import this into the project, I'm going to need to drag and drop the audio file into the timeline. And that also imports the clip into the media pool. So I can clear it from the timeline. In the effects panel, I'm going to load the Foley sampler onto an empty track. At this point, we need to also configure the MIDI controller. To do this, select Menu Bar, Preferences, 
Control Panels, Use MIDI Audio Console, and make the appropriate selection under MIDI Input. For me, I'm using an Arturia Beat Step. In the Foley Editor, click the Piano icon in the upper right and select the MIDI controller. The sampler will play back any assigned sound to a range of keys. It's a lot of fun. To assign a sample to a key, click and drag the audio clip from the media pool onto the appropriate key. This is one long clip of walking with five or six good sounds that I'd like to individually map to a key. So I'm going to drag the footstep source file onto other keys a total of four times. I need to select each instance of this sound effect by clicking on the mapping range. It's this bar just above the piano roll and configure the keys low and high range. I'd like to map an individual footstep to just one key. So I'm going to start with my mapping range, starting with 75 to 75. That way, when I trigger this sample, it only plays on that key. Another footstep will be mapped to the next key. So that range is going to have a low and high of 74. The next key for me is going to have a range of 73. And lastly, a range of 72. Now, I need to choose which section of the footstep source file I'd like mapped to each key. Move into the sample panel and select the corresponding instance of footsteps from the range bar above the piano, and alter the start and end times so that each moment has a unique footstep. Fairlight does not include a MIDI sequencer, but it can record any virtual instrument. Simply record arm this track and click record in the transport to start saving an audio file of the performance. I can play the MIDI controller as she walks to record Foley. Obviously a real Foley studio would sound better, but this is an extremely effective way to work if you don't have that available to you. And that's getting started with the Fairlight Sound Library. As you can see, if you work with sound as an editor or sound editor, how useful it is to have a large database that's always available at your disposal. No matter what project or database I step into, I'll have my catalog always available to me, so there's incentive for me to organize it in a way that's meaningful and tag the clips that are the best for use. Do you have a tip for working with sound effects inside Fairlight? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. For the Rocket Yard blog, I'm Arthur Dittner.